بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم I don't normally do this I haven't done a, like a review on a product before but I got sent this pen by Pulp Addiction okay you can have a look I'll put their their, their link in the uh, description so they sent me this pen this is a calligraphy pen okay so this is a very special pen by Pilot it's called Parallel I was having a look before, I don't normally read the back of things, but I saw this part that was very interesting. If you've got two pens and the different colors, you can transfer the ink from one to the other. And by doing that, you can actually write like this. It'll have a, a gradient, a fade, which is pretty cool. And then I also looked at this, I never knew, that if where pilot is written, is facing towards you, you can use it as a normal pen. Otherwise, we use it like that. It's not cut for Arabic. You can see there it's flat, but you can do Arabic with it. So let's open it and have a look. Now I've got a small knife here. Let me cut this open. And I didn't need to do that. It's got open from here. There we go. So you've got some red ink, you've got some black ink there. This thing here, I believe, is to take out ink in between the nib. I'll explain to you and I'll show you the nib if I can get the pen out. All right, a normal calligraphy pen or a normal fountain pen just kind of has this bit, but it's big, right? So like that little black dot, but it takes up the whole bottom part. And then the top part is all steel. This one is different because you can see, oh, can you see, can I get it in focus? And there we go, you can just see it. See, it's two pieces of steel together, right? So that's a very different construction. To a normal fountain pen all right so I found even though the, the build of the pen feels a little bit cheap but the way this pen writes is amazing absolutely brilliant and because of the price point I would get you know I'd get every size so I had one of these before it was gray and so the plastic was a little bit cheaper than this one this one is kind of a pearly white color this is actually quite nice, this end, and I love the, the design of it, how it goes from thick to thin. So back to this plastic bit, which is here. This is used to put in between the two pieces of steel so that if there is any blockage, like dry ink, you can get rid of that dry ink with this. And it's stuck to my finger. There we go. Then if you undo this, all right, that's where the cartridge will go. But then this blue thing here is if you want to rinse out the pen. So you'll put water in this, you suck water up in it like that. And you put it there and you squeeze it through. All right, so let's put a, a cartridge in. And the lid's nice too. So I believe the blue that tells us that it's six mil. All right, so they're color coded. I can't remember all the each millimeter, <coughs> what color it's for, excuse me. All right, let's put in the black cartridge. Bismillah, put it in, you push it in, you'll kind of hear it pop. Or you'll feel it kind of click a little bit. And you can see the ink hasn't gone into the actual pen yet. So we squeeze it a little bit. There we go. So now you can see it's starting to fill up here. I cheat a little bit with these pens. Huh? Once the ink runs out, I get a syringe and I take off this cartridge and I refill it. Okay, but I'm pretty sure the cartridges aren't that expensive. You can have a look at Pulp Fiction. See how much they sell them for. Let's try and get it writing. I'll move all this away. 
small booklet. It's got some different styles. Like I said, this isn't made for Arabic, but you can get away with it. All right, it's got some instructions. There you go. It's got it mentioned, mentioned here. Nib cleaner, cleaning the pen unit. Tells you some, some things of how to do some basic writing, how to look after the nib. Uh, I never read all this stuff, but um, you can read over it. There you go. Too heavy on the right. So from the left side, it's... Oh, you can't see it. Too heavy on the right. So from the left side, it's it's lifting up. And that's the opposite. Too heavy on the left. So on the right side, you kind of got those gaps. Even pressure. Oh, and some nice lettering. I should try some English calligraphy, huh? All right. Let's say Bismillah and try and write something. So I've got to get the ink flowing down into the nib first, which it is not. So let's squeeze it again. There we go. You can see it. It's coming all the way down. There we go. The ink. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, so what's befitting to write? The first thing, Bismillah. Let's try it. I haven't written with a pen like this for ages. So the, the steel is gripping a little bit on the paper. I just got to push not as hard. So see, you can write Arabic with it. The paper isn't the best. That's why we've got this bleed here. And let's do Allah here. There we go. Hmm, that's actually quite nice, very smooth. I'm sure the more you practice with it, the small, more smooth it'll get. All right, excellent. So that was the Pilot Parallel, and I got it from Pulp Addiction. Okay, Jazakumullah Khairan, Assalamu Alaikum.